I'm a thug in your life and I treat you right But you look cause I'm living in the game like uh -huh. What is up? What is up? What is up? We are back and we have a lot to talk about. I have some things I need to get off my chest because I let it slide and I wasn't going to say nothing, but I really need to get this off my chest. So we're going to go ahead and talk about it real quick because let's just talk about it. Y'all, <laughs> the tickets are out for the Millennium Tour. The tickets are out. The tickets are out. The tickets are out. Calm down. Everybody I had to tell myself to calm down because that's how excited I am. Like, I'm so excited about this tour. I mean, I'm really excited. Can you can you tell I'm excited about this tour? Because I am. I've already looked up um, prices for my jersey dress. I already found a um, baby fat jumpsuit on eBay. It's going down. And if I can, if I could just be lucky to just find something where I can get my name on the belt. It's over. It's over. I'm shutting the game down. It's over. Just, just simple. But again, make sure because I've been seeing some comments on Instagram and Facebook about these tickets. People are like reselling them for like thousands of dollars. You don't have to do that. I mean, don't spend your rent money on this tour, even though it's very important and I want everybody to go. Uh -uh -uh. Use your brain. So make sure you check out Ticketmaster, StubHub, Vivid Seats, wherever you gotta go. Make sure you get your tickets. I mean, okay, let me calm down. I gotta calm down. I'm drinking my chocolate. Chingy's going to be on the tour. Mario's going to be on the tour. Pretty Ricky's going to be on the tour. The Yin Yang Twins. The Yin Yang Twins are going to be on this tour. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Because I'm excited. I'm excited to live going on. I'm excited. But, um... Interestingly enough, Soldier Boy feels like he should be on the tour, and he had a lot to say to TMZ the other day. He's on the Millennium Tour. <laughs> man, cause they ain't have enough money for Young Draco, man. You know what I'm saying? They gotta cut that check, cousin. Everybody said they you should be on it. They gotta cut that check. I need my check, man. I need my ends. I need my percentages. My, uh, Millennium Tour. Cut that the check and get Soldier Boy on there. Turn that mom. <laughs> that was just like. I mean, they probably, they probably could have put Soulja Boy on the tour, but he only has about what one or two songs, I think, maybe maybe three. I don't know. I have, and I'm still trying to figure out how Soldier Boy is in the news and making all this money. And I ain't trying to count my man pockets, but it's like Soldier Soldier Boy. Then he gonna post. He said, "Don't call me Soldier Boy. Call me Soldier Man." Oh, no, Soldier, it's okay. It's okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe he can open up. Maybe he can open up. I don't know. I don't know. What do y'all think? I think they should just leave it off and let it be what it is and just let the fellas do what they got to do and rock this tour out. I mean, I've been practicing the lyrics, the moves. It's going down. It's going down. It's a two-month tour. I think they, they're doing about 16. Ooh, I'm going to check. But I know they're going to a lot of cities. And I know... It's going to be El Lite. You know, that's my word. El Lite, it's going to be lit. It's shit. Like, for real. Okay. Now, like I said, I'm very excited about this tour. But it, I wouldn't be myself if I didn't address the drama that could possibly be around this tour. Now, it's being alleged that Omarion's baby mother, April Jones, is dating Little Fizz. A.K.A. Drew. AKA my first real crush from B2K. I loved him in B2K. Even though, you know, after third review of their videos on YouTube, I've noticed he wasn't the strongest dancer, but that's all right though. That's all right. He, he says, it don't matter. It don't matter. You kept up enough to go with the band. So don't, don't worry about all that. But we've waited a long time for this tour. We've asked for this tour. Fans such as myself. They had all the albums, including the Christmas album. Before social media, they had all the posters from Word Up. I want this tour to happen. Okay? April, if you messing with Fizz. If you messing with Fizz, you messing with Fizz. Although I think it goes against a lot of codes. Bro codes. Baby mama codes. It go against a lot. That ain't none of my business. 
But if you are messing with him and you feel like you need to come to this tour, I'm telling you right now. And I know I'm not the only one. And I don't care if I am the only one. You better not mess this tour up. Do you hear me? Look at my face. This is the face I make when I'm upset. This is the face I make when I'm... This is my serious face. No, actually, that's my bitch. Don't do this face. I don't want you to mess this tour up. Please don't mess this tour up. <laughs> oh, my God. If they put out something to say this tour is canceled, I would be three shades of pissed. Okay, I need to go to this tour. I need to see Chingy. I want to see what he been doing since he been one call away. He been gone away a while. I need to see Pretty Ricky. April. Now, you've been, I seen your live video. You're doing a lot. There's no need to do all that. You don't got to do all that. If you messing with them, you messing with them. But if they say don't come to this tour, don't come. If they say, April, you come to this tour, ain't no beef. Sit in the um the nosebleeds. You don't have to be around. You don't need you don't need backstage passes. I don't care. I don't care if y'all have kids. I'm be so honest. And I'm not talking about your kids, but I don't care. If you come to the tour, you need to be in the nosebleeds. You take a security guard and you can take two of your homegirls. But other than that, you don't need to be posting about this tour. You don't even need to be a part of this tour. Ain't nothing that you got to do with this tour at all. Okay? Cause no. And truth be told. Body language on your live video. That ain't giving me friend. But that ain't none of my business. And that video. Sis, if it ain't true. If it really ain't true. Okay. Why you go that far to make that video? And them lyrics a little. I'm like, okay, well, who you talking to? You talking to Mario? You talking to Fizz? You talking to Monique? Who you talking to? I'm a little, I'm... Mm, okay, but whatever you do your thing girl Now Wendy You know prayers going out to you Wendy. I don't know what's going on I know there's a lot of you know commotion Regarding you know the return of your show or you returning to the show um and I know I've only been in business for about three weeks, but listen, this chair could easily be purple. Just saying, and I don't want to take your chair, <laughs> but I will. So listen, um, seriously, but as you guys know, or if you didn't know, it's being alleged that Wendy Williams is divorcing her husband slash manager, allegedly, since, you know, uh, allegedly, um, because his mistress is allegedly pregnant. And I say allegedly until the wheels fall off because she taught when you taught me this. You got to say allegedly because you never know if it's true or not. And if it is true, I am sorry. Now, I'm never going to, you know, promote broken homes or, you know, infidelity, stuff like that. But Wendy, girl, you know, you know, pushed it back a few times. Now, we let you slide with the little, you know, incidents before the holidays. I understand you had a fractured shoulder. And you were taking medications and there was some complications around that. I get it. Totally get it. But. It's January the 13th. And you still haven't returned to the show. And this is your about to be the second or third time pushing this back. You have. I'm going to give you one more time. I'm going to give you one more time because I understand how it is. You know, prepping for a show <clears throat> and whatnot when you don't feel good <clears throat> or whatever. But we ready. We need these hot topics. We need to know what's going on. And if truth be told, Winnie, the way you the way you shoot off, I don't know why you wouldn't be able to just just go ahead and say, look, I'm getting a divorce. You know, my husband and I didn't work out. Even though I know that's painful. I know it's painful. So you can talk about it on your own time. But I'm just saying, if you're able to shoot the shit on everybody else's stuff, you can shoot shit on yours. Will, guys, on a softer note and a little bit of, well, actually, a lot more heartbreaking note. Uh, we are in the 23rd day of the government shutdown. Um, and it is very unfortunate that, I mean, 
that we're even in this position. Um, regardless of differences, whatever your party is, it is unfortunate that we are here. I think this is um, really sad that we can't get to a place where we can compromise because a lot of things are happening. You know, people are at risk of losing their homes. You know, just national parks are just running over with trash. The FDA is not doing food inspections. Homeland Security is closed. TSA is just all over the place. Terminals across the country are being closed because workers aren't showing up. I mean, a lot is going on. So, I'm urging, if anybody political is watching this, to please get to a place where you can come to a middle ground and reopen the government. Even if you have to reopen it and start a whole new discussion about, you know, I think the big thing right now is border security, which is, it, which is important. However, dot comma, semicolon, dot dot dot, asterisk, and everything else, we need this, we need our government open. You know, it doesn't look good when the government is closed. It doesn't help anybody. It hurts a lot of people. And it really hurts our country. So, you know, let's prayerfully, let's get this up and running. And my prayers go out to anybody affected by the government shutdown. Because I understand it can be, you know, a really, it's, it's really messed up. Like, you have bills, you have to eat, you have children, you have responsibilities. So, Again, my prayers go out to anybody that's being affected by the government shutdown. Um, I know there are a few companies, AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, and I believe Verizon are helping with um, bills in regards to late fees. So you don't have to worry about those. And then you also have Bank of America, Chase, Navy Federal, um, and I think Wells Fargo is also helping with um, financial assistance. Just make sure you have your ID with you, your government ID when you go to those places to check those services out. Um, in the meantime, just stay prayed up. And I don't know your faith. I don't know, you know, what you believe in, what you do not believe in. But just stay prayed up and trust that everything will be okay. It's only temporary. Prayerfully, things are going to work out and the government will be back open. It's time for plan. It's time for plug of the week. It's time for plug. Uh, uh, this will be too gay. Plug of the week. It's time for plug of the week. Mm. I can't really dab, but I like that. I just think it's funny. Anyway, the plug of the week goes to Urban Skin RX, the melanin experts. And this is for the ladies, it's for the fellas, it's for the teenagers, it's for the older. When I say these products, When I say these products have changed the game, I mean they have truly changed the game. Anybody suffering from acne, hyperpigmentation, dry skin, eczema, I mean you name it, patches, you're pregnant and you just want to glow, or you just want to glow, you don't even have to be pregnant, you just want to glow, okay? Check out Urban Skin Rx. I love their products. I mean, it's, it's just, I mean they're just, I can't even explain how much they have changed my life Ooh, excuse me um, I'm a big fan of the pumpkin pour mask which can you see that you probably can't see that um, and I'm a, definitely a big fan of their soaps um, you can use them on your face you can use them on the body I do the three-in-one the um, clean scare clean, cleansing bar and then I also do the even tone cleansing bar and they smell amazing this is my favorite one this green one right here Ooh, it just smell like just wash everything away. It should smell like cocoa butter, shea butter, and wash everything off. Love it. And then if you have sensitive skin like myself, um, you can actually get some vitamins that even support supplements, which are good for like getting that underglow or hyperpigmentation and just anything. And again, this is for girls, guys, and anybody can use this stuff. It's amazing. Now, I do have a code. If you're interested, you can use the code below and get 20% off your first purchase. And if you're in Charlotte, North Carolina, because that's where they're based, you can tell them Livy sent you because this right is Urban Skin Urban Skin Rx. Urban Skin Rx. Check them out. Well, guys, that's all I have to say. It's not too much for this week. And we got snowed in. And guess what? I'm off from work. Then also, I ain't doing I might braid my hair. Or I might rock a little puff balls to work. I'm trying to think. So, anyways, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. And make sure you check out next week. Because I have a special guest coming in. And I finally have the results for the Mumbo Sauce Tour. And you, wait till y'all watch this. You won't believe who won. 
you you won't believe who won. And I honestly am a bit still shocked who won. But nonetheless, I'll see y'all guys next week. Love you.